Hi, it's Rick, and in this video, I'm going to cover the top five ways to make money developing Chrome extensions. So I've made over $500,000 from my Chrome extensions, which has enabled me to quit my crappy nine to five corporate job. And on this channel, I share my knowledge and tips on how you can create passive income from microsas apps such as Chrome extensions. So please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. So let's take a look now at the main ways to monetize your extension. So First up is to charge a subscription fee, which is obviously the most obvious one. But if your extension helps make people money or it saves them a lot of time, they'll happily pay you a recurring fee if there's a clear value win for them by doing so. So you can offer a monthly, yearly, or lifetime plan for your extension and charge users for access. Monthly plans tend to be the most popular ones seeing as they have the lowest barrier to entry and usually represent the best value to risk you know, ratio for your customers. And in terms of lifetime deals, I generally suggest steering clear of those where possible, unless it's a very simple Chrome extension or there's another good reason for it. And that's because it will affect your eventual exit from the app as you've got a lot of user baggage, you know, for your apps buyer are going to basically need to support those for the lifetime of the app even though they're not going to give any more dollars to the buyer of your app. To get people through the door for your app, you can offer a free version of your extension with limited features or usage restrictions. And then once they realize how useful the Chrome extension is to them, they're likely to upgrade to a paid plan to unlock all the features that they need. So personally on my Chrome extensions, I had a free forever tier with limited features. And then through the customer onboarding emails, I was able to get them to upgrade to the premium tier and it worked really well. Okay, so next up we have got affiliate and referral program. So another way to monetize your Chrome extension. And let me demonstrate this with a few ideas from my 23 Chrome extensions ideas PDF, which is linked in the description below. 23 Chrome extension ideas that I've had, I've not got time to build. So you're welcome to build them or something near them. So number one from this is the Amazon Enhanced Reviews Chrome extension, which would overlay professional reviews next to the user's reviews, providing a more balanced and professional and accurate view of each product. And this could be monetized by adding Amazon Associates affiliate links to any potential purchases that aren't already using an affiliate link. And with millions of users shopping on Amazon every day, the Amazon Enhanced Reviews Chrome extension could be a very popular extension with shoppers looking to get unbiased reviews on the products they're interested in. You don't have to limit yourself to Amazon either. You could use a referral program from pretty much any company. For example, uh, another one in that PDF is the game cost cutter Chrome extension, which compares prices across several gaming sites and platforms helping gamers save money on each game or expansion pack that they're purchasing. You can monetize this via affiliate links to the various gaming marketplaces and make money that way. Okay, next up we have got advertising. So if you're not keen on charging for your extension, but you still want to monetize it, then placing ads via your Chrome extension is an option too. So you can use Google AdSense or any number of other ad networks which offer competitive rates and or targeted campaigns. The key here is to ensure that the ads don't detract from the user's experience. So placing an ad on a page that's got nothing to do with it or bombarding your users with too many ads will result in them quickly uninstalling the extension and your extension receiving bad reviews. So you need to find that right balance between monetization and the user's experience. And if that's done properly, ads can be a great way to monetize your Chrome extension without having to charge for it. Okay, next one is gonna be the donations method of monetizing your Chrome extension. So if you have a loyal following and have given your Chrome extension away for free for the benefit of your users, then you can always ask for donations. Relying on the principle of reciprocity, if your users have found a lot of value in your extension, then they might be willing to donate back to you so that you can keep working on the extension and also to keep it free. Instead of one-off donations, you can even ask them to set up a small recurring fee, the equivalent of buying you a coffee or two every month to try and bring in some stable income. But this is by far the least reliable way of monetizing as it relies entirely on how generous your audience is. But if done right, it could be a great way to generate some income from your Chrome extension. Okay, and finally, we have got 
built to sell. So if you built up a large user base and have proven that your Chrome extension is valuable to them, then another way to monetize it would be to simply sell the extension to a business in that niche. For example, let's say you've created a Chrome extension that tracks stock prices and users love it so much it's been installed a million times. Now you could approach businesses in the stock market industry and offer to license your extension to them for a fee. And this approach would require considerable effort up front, but businesses in the niche would likely pay handsomely to be able to capture the attention of so many potential customers within the niche. Okay, so the key takeaways here, uh, we've run through several options available for monetizing your extension. There's charging a subscription fee, leveraging affiliate links, there's advertising, asking for donations, and selling it to businesses in the same niche once it's up and running and it's established. If this video has helped you, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think is the best monetization model out of these. And don't forget, you can download my 23 Chrome extensions idea PDF from the link in the description below if you need some inspiration as to what you can build. And finally, these are the topics that I cover on this channel. So Chrome extensions, Microsoft, that's passive income, quitting your day job, productivity, all those good things. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we've also got a Facebook group for uh, people who are looking to get into Microsoft or Chrome extensions called the Microsoft Mastermind. Just look that up on Facebook. All right, that's a wrap. So cheers for now.